welcome to week three of my weekly videos. Um, this past week was not the most exciting week in the world, but a quick little update. On Monday, I just did some housework and stupid stuff. Where are we going, Katie? We're going to the bank. <laughs> Communist. <laughs> Katie and I are running errands. We're gonna go to the post office and the bank because we're exciting people. Laundry time, laundry time. My life is so boring. She says meet me in the garden, boy. Miss Caroline. The softest boy in Mississippi would like to know. I worked and Wednesday I worked as you can see here and it's time to go back to work let's go On Thursday, I went to Republic, which is a bar in Minneapolis with a bunch of my friends. It was awesome. We just got drinks and sat on the patio. It's finally starting to get nice here in Minnesota, so the summer is hopefully on its way. Katie's trying Laura's cider. Laura's enjoying her cider. And then on Friday, I did something really fun with my roommate Katie. Um, we went to Prospect Park, which is in St. Paul, to go to the Witch's Hat Tower. So me and Katie are going on a photography mission. She's driving to uh, the Witch's Hat Tower, which is in Prospect Park um, in St. Paul. And it's only open one day a year, which happens to be today, the 29th. And the weather is shitty as hell. <laughs> abysmal, some might say. It's abysmal, abysmal, some might say. So we're gonna go though, because it's the only day of the year to do it, so we're going on a little photography mission. And anything you'd like to add? Um, I hope we can see the cities, because the weather is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get to the top and we're just gonna see like gray fog probably, so. Anyway, stay tuned. <clears throat> For a lot of people who probably don't know, the witch's hat is just a water tower. Um, it's shaped like a witch's hat on the top, and it overlooks pretty much all the city. You can get a really cool view. expedition made me realize that I wanted to have a specific theme for this week's video and it is finding adventure in your own life or in daily life. It can be really easy to get caught up in work or school or just kind of the daily grind doing the same thing every single day and never really experiencing anything new and a lot of times when you live in a city like I live in Minneapolis and it's not the most exciting city in the world it's not like New York City or LA where there's always something going on but it's still a big city and there's still a lot of things going on. So it inspired me to say, you know, or to seek out always something new to do, something exciting. So I printed off this list of 150 things to do. And there's lists like this for every city if you just go online. And I just really want to start branching out and always experiencing new things. So I've gone through this list and a lot of things are maybe like festivals that are specific weekends. So I'm writing that down in my calendar so I know to go you know, to keep that time free so that I can go and sp experience these new things because there's so many things that we don't, that we take for granted in our own little backyards that we don't go to and we just sit around being bored and that's really something that I want to avoid this summer and I want to just take advantage of everything that there is to do. On Saturday, I didn't do too much. I went to a yoga class which also has inspired me to start incorporating yoga into my weekly workouts. I go on, on runs a lot because I got kicked off my parents' lifetime membership. It's so much fun to get old. And 
I, you know, running is a free exercise to do, but I also need to integrate in weights and, you know, other forms of exercise. So I'm going to start going to yoga classes, I think. I'm going to try to go to Yoga Sculpt once a week and maybe a different form of yoga um, another day. So I go to at least two classes a week, which is really nice. I go to Yoga Soul, which is in Northeast Minneapolis. It's really an amazing studio. Their mission is yoga for everyone, so it's pay what you can. Um, so it's all donation based. I usually pay about $10 just to help support the cause, but it's really nice to know that for people who maybe are out of money or broke or going through a hard time, if they still need to go to yoga, they can. It's completely free and there's no judgment. It's a really awesome studio. It's a really awesome concept. And I love it. I really love going there. And then on Sunday, Sunday was also not very exciting, but I did yard work with my roommates. <laughs> and then later that night, I went out to the bars with my friend Emily. We went to Kitty Hat Club, which is a really cool um, bar in Dinky Town, which is right by our college. So, yep, that's about it. Not really too much exciting going on. Hopefully, this next coming week, I'll be able to do a lot more stuff that will give me more footage to talk about. Um, in the meantime, just remember to keep your mind open, take chances, and never ask permission, always beg forgiveness. Alright, bye!